look, a, a diagnosis of prostate cancer is a, is a major life stress. You know, this is a, a period of potential trauma and an adjustment in someone's life. So the online community was set up to provide an opportunity, an avenue, a safe and secure place for men and their families and, and partners to come and share experiences, to, to learn from each other. Um, to talk about prostate cancer in ways that is, is therapeutic and beneficial for them. To me, the important part was it puts a, a real, realistic, personal perspective on the information that's available clinically. You know, you understand things like, you know, surgery will cause some issues, um, but you can read people's personal experiences. It, it really just adds a personal touch to um, what can be a a dry but factual discussion on the, cl the clinical side of things um, and, and you really felt like you weren't alone you were involved in something that plenty of others had been been through and there was you know support there that the level of support provided by people to people who were quite new on there was quite astounding for men talking about an issue as important as prostate cancer some of the stories are actually quite funny you know People who have been through prostate cancer appear to have a really wicked sense of humour. So they can be a, an entertaining read as well um, about bits of your body you didn't think you'd go talking about too often to people. We know from research and from evidence and, uh, and from anecdotes you know, in Australia and around the world that, that the power of peer support is, is critical in that coping capacity. So we have an online community, you know, we've got 5,000 people there. You know, sharing their personal experiences in that, you know, it's a very powerful thing, that unique contribution that someone who's been there uh, can offer to someone who's about to go through an experience.